Howdy folks, Matt here with Gulf Coast Fit. I'm here at the uh, exquisite Snap Fitness Shawnee, Kansas. Uh, Snap Fitness here was the, uh, this is the, uh, the birthplace, the genesis of my, my fitness career. And 12, 13 years later, still in the game, and I owe it all to this place. Um, anywho, I'm running through a back workout right now. I'm targeting the mid-back big bulk of your wings here, mid lats, mid back, strongest part of your back in my opinion, or at least the uh, part that you can push the hardest. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm running through a mid back pulling tricep. It's three exercises in a row for the mid lats. And uh, we're doing the rule of eight here. Just made that up, but it's eight reps on everything. Now if you're doing eight repetitions for any mid back pulling exercise, then you know you're going pretty hard and heavy because eight reps is not a lot of volume for any given lift targeting the mid lats, mid back. Uh, however, when you put eight, eight, and eight together, you get 24 very challenging reps, uh, 24 reps between the three exercises. Exercise one is a narrow, semi-supinated grip cable lat pull down. The narrow grip whether you're using a neutral grip, semi-supinated, or an underhand chin-up grip. Uh, narrow grip helps focus more on the mid-lats. You do not want a wide grip. So as long as you've got some sort of a, a, a narrow or semi-narrow grip, neutral grip is, is good too. Uh, usually the narrower grips are, are neutral grip. Second exercise, running right into a a bench supported single arm dumbbell row. The king of all mid back, lat, mid lat exercises. Putting that sandwiched in the middle. That's eight reps on each arm. Make sure you support your, yourself, kickstand your other arm on the bench. Make yourself a big stable tripod with your legs as you row with one arm at a time. Uh, that way you take the mid or the lower back out of the equation when you're when you're kickstanding your other arm and supporting yourself on the bench. We do not want the lower back to be a limiting factor when we're doing a bent over a heavy row. So the third exercise we move on to to cap it off is a seated cable row again with a neutral narrower type grip, no no wide grip. Um, and I'm, I'm putting that exercise last because the seated cable row is a great way to tax your lats out to the max. And when you're already under a lot of fatigue accumulation, like you will be after exercise one and two, then cable rows are a safe way to do a little bit of a cheat rep, use a little bit of body momentum if you need to. So if it comes to that, you can uh, take it to the limit with some cable rows to finish off the tricep because you can gracefully rock and sway a little bit like you're likely to see me doing uh, in a manner that won't kill your lower back. Um, so eight reps of each, narrow cable lat pull down, take a little bit of rest, five to 10 recovery breaths, no more than about 30 to 45 seconds between lifts because you do want the effect of the tricep the density of the tricep, three exercises in a pretty short amount of time. Uh, so neutral or narrow grip lat pull down with the cable machine, right into a single arm bench supported dumbbell row. And then you cap it off with the seated cable row. So it's a heck of a tricep for the mid back, but the lats have a high work capacity and a high fatigue tolerance. And that's why you got to hit them hard. And tri sets and even giant sets are very good for the mid lats. Mid lats respond uh, well to, to a lot of volume and a lot of hard volume. So I would recommend four to five rounds of this. The first round being a feeler round or a primer round where you just go through the motions, work the movement patterns, grease, uh, grease the groove, so to speak, using minimal weight, you know, 25% of what you're going to be working with. So Working on the form, working on the mind-muscle connection, greasing the groove, like I said. The second round is a medium-hard round, so like a, a six or seven on the RPE scale, on the rate of perceived exhaustion or exertion. Six, six or seven means you've got you've to focus on what you're doing. You're going heavy enough now to have to pay attention. And then the third, fourth, and 
potentially, optionally, fifth round. Those are all your working sets, your peak rounds, where you really want to try to maintain the heaviest weight you can for eight reps on rounds three, four, and maybe five. Uh, if you don't quite, on that fifth and optional round, if you don't quite hit eight reps, maybe hit seven or even six reps on one or more of the exercises, that's fine. Um, that's okay. Or on that fifth round, if you feel you need to decrease the weight on one of any of the three exercises just slightly, just enough to get your eight reps in under control, then so be it. But that fifth round is really more for advanced lifters. I would recommend for the bulk of the population, including myself tonight. One feeler round, one medium hard round, and then two peak rounds where I'm going all out. So I'm on my medium hard round right now, round two. So let's run through this, starting with the, uh, the narrow, semi-supinated cable lat pull down. Here we go. Again, five to 10 recovery breaths, 30, 45 seconds roughly. I like to move around as I recover. I just don't like to stay stagnant. That's just me though, going into the single arm rows. Right into your recovery breaths. Now again, just because it's not my peak round doesn't mean it's not hard enough to have to focus on my form and technique. Here we go. Third and final exercise, neutral semi-narrow grip, seated cable row. I don't need to do cheat reps on this, but I will on the last two reps just to show you what it would look like, what it will look like on my next round. So a medium hard round or a six or seven on the rate of perceived exertion chart means eight reps of all of those. I probably could have done for 15 reps, 
I went 175 pounds on the cable pull down, 70 pounds on the dumbbell row, and 145 pounds on the seated cable row. Might not translate to your gym or whatever, but I know on this next round, and I'm going to rest here two to three minutes, full, near full recovery. Next round, I'm going to bump things up a considerable amount to where eight repetitions is very hard to achieve, and there's a possibility might only hit seven reps on a thing or two. So if you're visiting Shawnee, Kansas, which I'm sure everyone will eventually, come check out Snap Fitness Shawnee, best run gym in the country. As a matter of fact, when I got my start here, they were the number one Snap Fitness in the world. Had nothing to do with me, but that uh, got my career off to a great start working under such great management. So teamwork makes the dream work. Give it a go.